What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be doing another 0% AI challenge. This time it's one I've not done before. It's the no front wing versus 0% AI. And we're going to do it around the Russian Grand Prix. Let's see how we get on and see if we can beat these guys without any downforce at all. Right, so here we go. We're going to jump in Grand Prix mode. We're going to select the Russian Grand Prix. It's got a few high speed corners. Turn 3 is going to be painful for me. But a few low speed corners as well. Mixed in with many, many medium speed corners, which I think will be very interesting. We'll jump in the McLaren because why not? Daniel Ricciardo Mobile. Um, again, I run no assists. You guys probably already know this. Uh, we're going to run a... Five lap race. I think five laps might be enough. Uh, we'll leave the weather on dynamic. Strict corner cutting rules on. And then we're going to move it all the way from 110 down to zero. Damage. Well, we are going to be damaged, so we'll just put it on standard. And that should be that. Let's do this. Welcome to the Black Sea Resort of Sochi, host to Russia's first ever Formula One race. The drivers are getting ready, so let's join them for the start of the Russian Grand Prix. Stroll. Yeah, Ricardo, that's me. Okay, here we go. Uh, I've not tested this. I have no idea if this is going to be an absolute win or an absolute fail. It could be... It's, it's either going to be one of the two extremes, let's be honest. This is not going to go to plan. 10-7 uh, wings. We're probably going to need a lot of front wing since uh, we're going to be knocking it off anyway on the start. I need to get damage, and then I need to pile my way through the grid because we only have five laps to do this. So here we go. Let's let's do this. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more challenges like this. And we are underway. Goodbye, front wing. It was nice knowing you. All right, no front wing now. Let's drop to last, which, which we've done surprisingly quickly. And now... Let's see if we can beat 0% AI with no front wing. The front lockups are going to be tricky because... Oh, you need that downforce to press the tyres into the ground. And Maz has been doing his best job to wipe me out of this Grand Prix. Now, this turn here is going to be so painful, especially after lap one, because the AI are all holding each other up at the moment. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. This guy is not wanting to leave any space, it seems. We're going to... Yeet up the inside of all these guys into this. Oh, sorry, sides. They're gonna have to be very aggressive in low speed corners. Get the elbows out, much like the AI are doing to us. Who would have thought 0% AI are more aggressive than 110? I can't find an opening anywhere. Can't even stay on the track there. Up the inside of Vettel. Okay, we're getting a position per corner at this stage, but it's going to get increasingly more difficult the further up the grid we get. Using the straight line speed of the McLaren. This is not equal cars, by the way, so we're not in the fastest car. We are in, but we are in an upper midfield car, which should help. Anyway, low speed corners. Sector 3. This is where we're going to be strong. This is where we don't need so much downforce. Oh, and the AI being on zero are going to be absolutely rubbish through this sector of the track. You can see Leclerc taking up all the road there. Cheers, bro. Up the inside of Ocon. Lovely stuff. Stroll has used up all of his ERS. We're at 100%. All right, let's use some of this. Turn one here. This is actually going to be a proper corner. Okay, we've made it through. Maybe I should do this on Monaco as well. Because uh, the... He the Hold that thought. Oh, big lock up for Sonoda. The uh, the turn at the uh, the tunnel is bail is a real corner with no front wing. If we get another position there, and the Sonoda is going to get us back around the outside. I'm getting finessed by zero percent AI here, but we're through. P7 now. 13 or 14 positions made up on the first lap, but now it's going to be increasingly difficult. You can see the gap that the the Red Bulls and the Mercedes have made up the road. That's going to be the challenge. Hello, teammate. How are you? Oh, Sergio's right up the road. He's getting mugged by Gasly. Gasly back to Red Bull. 
You've heard it here first. Look at that exit compared to Norris. That's insane. Goodbye, teammate. We are looking pretty good here. Still a long way to go. Many bottles can still happen. That was a massive lockup for us there. Invited Norris back into the party. Oh, I can barely keep it on the road. Come on. Nice exit here. Slow in, slow out. Is the name of today's game. I'm not going to go for that because that's going to end in tears. We'll bide our time with Gasly. Last corner. Get a nice switch back. And there we go. That's a fastest lap of the Grand Prix. How? No front wing. Fastest car on track. This is a joke. Let's go, chat. I mean, there's no chat, but let's go anyway. Feels so weird live commentating and not being a stream. I want to do more live commentator videos. I think they're more authentic. So look forward to that if we want to do more challenge videos. And I haven't forgotten about doing the 100% race at uh, Imola, by the way. I was going to do that today, but I ran out of time. So maybe tomorrow or the day after. Just uh, make sure to annoy me on Twitter or Instagram or whatever. But uh, yeah, if you want to get involved in that race, hit me up on Twitter. I'll put out a tweet before I go live, and it'll be amazing. Contemplating doing like simulation damage or something for that race, which would be pretty sick. But anyway, back to the task at hand. This is now for the podium. Verstappen and two Mercedes left to go, and we've got two laps left in this race. I think we got uh, P2 in the bag, but I'm not so sure about Lewis Hamilton. That's a massive lockup again. We're okay. We're okay. We're actually dealing with the understeer. It actually doesn't feel too bad on 0% AI. If we're ra racing in competitive AI, I'd be crying until the cows come home. Round the outside of a Verstappen. Oh, baby, what a move. Is this going to be a fast slap as well? The trail braking is really, really helping with the low speed rotation. That is P2 now. And a bit of cheeky DRS to go with it as well. You know what? It only feels like an F1 2010 car in terms of downforce. I know that sounds so ridiculous, but I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. Maybe I should do like F2 versus F1 with no front wing or something. What a shame you can't race F2 cars with F1 cars at the same time on this game. Why is that not a thing, Codemasters? The potential for so many more challenges would be incredible. Anyway, middle sector. We're still catching Lewis, I'd say, even at the high speed. I wonder... I mean, there are obviously some tracks where you wouldn't be able to do this. Silverstone. Maybe Spa as well. Spa is full of high-speed corners. But even still, we wouldn't be that far off. I think we'd still get, like, top five, potentially. Spa might be even possible because you've got a really long circuit. With only five laps to do so. But here we go. We're heading on to the last lap. And we are catching Lewis Hamilton now. Can we get within one second before we cross the line and get DRS down to start finish straight? That'll make life a whole lot easier. But we'll see. It's not been a good lap, this one. We're down a little bit on our personal best. I have been talking, well, I've been talking the whole video, let's be honest. So that's no excuse. Not great rotation out of the last corner, but we're within arm's reach of Lewis Hamilton. We'll be able to slipstream and DRS him all the way down this straight. And then, dare I say it, we might be able to dive bomb him into turn two. So let's give this a go, shall we? Oh my god! Oh wow! Okay. Okay, good work. Great pass. Race nearly came unstuck right then and there. Okay. The understeer is bad. Mercedes has the best downforce. Okay, this might actually be a battle. That. That has completely thrown me, that has. We gotta concentrate again, we gotta get him. We can't finish P2 in this challenge. I'm not gonna be beaten by 0% AI. Otherwise, 
I'll say goodbye. I'll say goodbye to my channel. So here we go. Lewis is. Oh, you know what's happening? He's using all of his uh, his battery on the last lap. That's what the AI do. So, cool. Let's get this guy and let's not be spooked heading into the braking zone this time. Come on, slipstream. Hamilton with a squeeze. We take the lead of the Grand Prix with only a sector to go, and now we've just got to hold on to this. Oh, Lewis! Okay. Who turned Lewis's AI up to 110? Go on, who was it? Codemasters. I'll be having a word. Two more corners to go. Oh, I could breathe. That, that was honestly so stressful. That is the toughest 0% AI battle I will ever have. Lewis Hamilton, fair play. Absolutely fantastic. It's a brilliant result. Well done. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I thought the race was over. Turn two, he breaks 200 meters too early, and I didn't have the uh, the responsiveness of the downforce to get out of the way. Oh, we just cleared him. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations, and it's going to be McLaren picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team there, for that fantastic performance. Lovely stuff. So there we go, that is the slowest race for me you'll probably ever see. Um, it would be really cool one time to see like an F1 race in real life with no front wings. I think the dynamic would be really, really crazy. And at the very least, let's see if we can do it on the game somehow. But um, okay, finally Crofty has stopped talking. But yeah, there we go guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bit of a short and sweet video, but hopefully you enjoyed it nonetheless. If you guys have any other uh, suggestions for challenge videos for me to do, let me know down in the comments and I will do them. Um, particularly maybe some online ones where I can involve you guys. I have some ideas. Um, like for example, worst setup challenge. You guys give me the worst setup possible on the game. I'll try and load it on and win a race against you guys. Does that sound good? If so, we'll make it a video in the future. But that's it from me today. Daniel Ricardo, the no front wing expert. It's gone from last to first. Just give him the championship. That's all that needs to be said. Uh, anyway, with that said, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you next time.